Our company is part of a holding company for the production of medicines in fur. We have a variety of equipment for the production of medicines, from a peltizer to an automatic self-adhesive labeling line. At the end of the year we modernized and began to replace the obsolete and technically obsolete equipment. I have been working as a chief engineer for 15 years and I know all the technological processes in the company very well. I chose new equipment to replace the technically unsuitable one myself, coordinating it with the management before purchase. It was not an easy job. There is a lot of equipment on the market. Many processes have changed and become automated. In pharmaceutical production it is very important to control the quality of raw materials and finished drugs. Plans for modernization included the purchase of a blistering machine, which is used for automatic formation of cellular packaging from PVC roll material. The machine automatically fills the cells with gelatin capsules. After the cells are filled, the equipment seals the surface of the blisters with aluminum foil. The main effect on the capsule shell is moisture. Being in the individual cell of the blister, the gelatin capsule is protected as much as possible. The machine we had was constantly being repaired and did not provide the necessary performance and sealing of the capsules. Since I had already selected many different machines for our facility, I had a lot of experience in selecting and remained in contact with some reliable equipment manufacturers. I began contacting the manufacturers by telephone to find out whether they could produce a blister machine. As the main criteria I specified automatic control, high quality stainless steel equipment material, the capacity of 10,000 blisters per hour. I first contacted a company in Germany, which offered me automatic equipment for packaging capsules into aluminum blisters, but they specified that the whole process of delivery, customs clearance and installation of the equipment was not included in the price. Delivery could have been delayed and I declined. Then I contacted the company from Russia. She said that they do not make this type of machine, but if we can wait, they are willing to design and manufacture a blister machine, but it will not be until next year. I was not prepared to wait that long, since I could not find a manufacturer of automatic equipment for packaging capsules into PVC blisters. I decided to take a different route and consult with professionals who work in the pharmaceutical equipment supply industry and maybe suggest another machine option. I searched on the internet for an intermediary from Russia because I once had a bad experience delivering equipment from a Chinese intermediary when a powder filling line was brought to us, but there were no installation documents or technical passport. It took us a long time to set up the line, we consulted with the manufacturers on the phone, although they were reluctant to talk to us. I chose three vendors online, I looked at the firm's time in the pharmaceutical supply market, the company's website, and the machine's delivery terms as criteria. All the companies I called to make sure of the professionalism of their managers. A specialist from one company said to wait for five minutes, but she never listened to me. I didn't like such attitude to the customer. The manager of another company from Kaliningrad talked to me politely, asked questions about the necessary performance equipment, the desired production time. Five days later I received from them in the mail 10 variants of various blister machines and an offer to make a choice on their own. I realized that they have no professional approach and I will not help me in my search for equipment. The last, third intermediary option turned out to be a good one for me. The mail manager talked to me like a professional. He asked me specific questions about the desired productivity of the machine, told me about the terms of delivery. During the consultation he suggested an automatic machine for packing capsules into PVC blisters, which I was able to quickly negotiate with the company management. The machine was acceptable in characteristics and price. Within a week we concluded a contract for the supply of equipment. A month after signing the contract, we received the automatic equipment for packaging capsules into PVC blisters. The manager provided the manufacturer's warranty technical passport of the equipment, drawings and operation manual. We installed the machine. The design of the equipment provides a system of handling PVC and aluminum foil packaging materials. Then from the round hopper on the chute distribution gelatin capsules fall into the cells. The machine has a material pulling system. The cells are formed on the PVC belt when heated. All parameters of the equipment are shown on the display screen. Aluminum foil covers PVC and is welded by heating. After the cutting stage, the equipment has a special tool on suction cups, which clings to the blister and puts it on the conveyor belt. We were satisfied with the blister machine, which was supplied by the manager from Moscow. In the future, I plan to contact a specialist from this company to purchase the analytical equipment I need to buy for the production of the drug in gelatin capsules. I am sure that he will pick up high quality equipment for me. Experience has shown that no matter how confident you are in your abilities, Consulting a professional will speed up the solution of the task at hand and free up time, which can be spent to your advantage.